Hello viewers of Super TT here, once again in Forza 6, in B class around Laguna Seca, off the line we go, let's see how we can do in this one, third on the grid, well, I'm going to get swamped here by a couple of cars and go down into 7th position as we approach turn 1, the ever famous turn 1, well famous for causing lots of crashes shall we say, in Forza, and I've gone in, I'm going to get smashed round and again, but thankfully, or well, somehow, Keep uh, facing the right way, go into that tyre wall, give it a nice glance on the way past. And after all that, I'm down in eighth, so I've lost five positions around the first two corners. And I just tapped that S2000 wide into that other car. I honestly did not mean to do that. And I should really slow down and let him pass, but I can't be bothered. After all, this is smash all other cunts out of the way class, so I have done what the name of the class says to do. And Going around the outside of the Subaru under braking, that Ferrari, not sure what he was doing. He sort of wanted to stay in the middle of the track, then come back across, then he changed his mind, changed his mind again, and ended up ramming me off. Um, maybe I should have held back a little bit, but I just wasn't sure what he was doing. So, coming up into the famous corkscrew, on lap one of four, I'm going to dive up the Ferrari's inside. He's had no chance there. That was a great move on him. The BMW's gone wide over the gravel, and the Ferrari's going to come back and just tap me wide. Um, not sure if he saw me there, or clearly not, uh, or unless he did. If he did see me, then he probably did it intentionally, or it was just bad driving. But anyway, he looks like he is slowing down for me, so he's going to let me back past. So I guess he knew he was at fault there. He's going to let me pass, so that was a, a nice bit of driving for him to do that. Uh, if people hit me off, I don't mind if they hit, uh, let me back past. Um, we can wipe that slate clean and continue with the race. So that's lap one done. Fifth position. I've lost two positions overall. But we do have three guys ahead of us here in fourth, third and second positions. And it's looking like a very nice race at the moment. Uh, it's always turn one or lap one that seems to cause all the carnage when so many people are so close to each other. But then after that, it gets a bit better. Um, still not always perfect. Like you see there, they made contact. I'm going past the BMW. But it does calm down a little bit. It's just when you've got so many people barreling to turn one. 24 people into, into one turn just doesn't work. You can't have that many people at this skill level going into one turn expect it all to be clean. Although they should be clean if, if they just held back a little bit. But it's just never going to happen in Forza really, is it? But I'm in third position as it stands, so I've got past those two guys at the first half of lap two into the corkscrew, getting on the brakes nice and early, getting over the curb on the first start on the first um, part of the corner, and then taking the other side, the other curb on the other side on the exit. I uh, didn't really make that clear. Make it clear on the next lap. So I'm behind a Canadian S2000 here. The S2000 is, of course one of the best cars in B-Class and it has been since day one pretty much. I get on the brakes nice and late, almost pulling up to right to the back of the S2000. I'm going to go past him on the exit, he went a bit deep on the entry there, which means he got a poor exit. I'm going to get back past him into second position. So we cross the line now at the end of lap two, so we've done half of the race now. As we go past the 50% uh, 50 mark of this race, I've gone a bit deep into turn one, and that S2000 is going to reappear on my inside. I'm going to have to give him space. I can't really fight that around the outside, so he's gone back into second. Um, I can play this patient. I've got, the, I've got the pace at the moment, I believe, to win this race. We've still got um, over a lap and a half left to try and do something about our position. Uh, fourth place is still in contention. He's just behind us there. Um, losing touch a little bit, but if we carry on fighting then that might change. So the S2000 is going to dive up the inside and make contact there with the BMW. Oh my god, they couldn't quite keep it together. That was the uh, completely the S2000's fault. Um, he's the one doing the pass. He's the one who has to keep it clean. The BMW did not do anything wrong there. Sort of just minding his own business on the outside. But after all that, it has granted me first position. And it just seems to be the case in this game that I don't really have to work for a lot of the positions. A lot of people just end up taking themselves out. This is why um, it's best sometimes not to be over ambitious with your overtake. Sometimes it is best just to hang back and wait 
for something to happen because it just always does happen in this game. People are so so aggressive and they just want it everything to happen now. They want if they're in last they go, oh okay, I want to be in first right now. I just want to go, I'm gonna lunge all 18 people and get into the lead and hopefully that'll work. But it just it doesn't work. That's the, that's the that's the thinking of some people I think. They barrel into turn one, they're in last position say on the first lap. Going into turn one they'll just won't break and go, oh hopefully I can get into the lead by just not breaking. Um, it's quite a strange mentality that a lot of people have in this game just to think that they can win the race on lap one because you can't. You can lose it but you can't win it and that seems to be uh, wrongful thinking on a lot of people's part in this game. But that's something that um, you should always be aware of. I do have a guide for how to survive lap one and my, my main emphasis in the guide is that you shouldn't be too attacking. You should really hold station main priority should be getting through safely rather than getting through and gaining as many positions as you can. By, by playing it safe you normally gain positions because everyone else isn't playing it safe they all end up spinning out, crashing into each other and then you gain their positions. So playing it safe I think on lap 1 is the better approach. I've gone a bit deep into the corkscrew but not too deep, managed to make the corner it looks like it's going to be a solid win here in the Honda Civic tuned by FAA Mankey Spoon just like in my uh, Hockenheim video recently I used the Acura Integra which is tuned by the same guy so it might be worth following him as a tuner to see when his uh, new tunes come up uh, come out so around the final corner there is a guy ahead there but he is not going to trouble me here because I'm going to cross the line in first place at the end of all that it was a good race actually I uh, started third, so I gained two in the end, but I did go down to eighth at one point on the first lap. Um, I do regret one thing, knocking that Honda Civic, uh, not Honda Civic, the Honda S2000 wide on the first lap, but um, I honestly thought I was, wasn't was going to make contact with him, but it just turned out they did. It's unfortunate, but, you know, these things happen. I wasn't trying to do that on purpose. I wasn't, you know... <laughs> it's, it's weird because I was just arguing against being too aggressive on lap one and then I, I went and did it. I guess I can't be perfect all the time. But there you go, that's the result of the race. Um, it is a very quick car, maybe a bit OP. Well, not OP, but just, you know, a, a leadable car to an extent. Um, but I still have to drive it, I, you still have to drive the car well. You still, I, I did win the race in the end. Um, if you're driving a leadable car, you should be winning races and I did in the end. So... That's going to be the end of this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did and you want to see more of the same. Subscribe if you want to see more of the same as well. Plenty of force of action on this channel. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.